Hello and welcome to the video series of what to expect in your first weeks as a nursing student at the University of Northampton. My name is Louise and I'm a first year nursing student at the University of Northampton. This is video two of four. Within video two, I'll be briefly explaining the university enrolment process, both online and on campus. I'll also show you the student hub, the central timetables and where you can find those, as well as how you can add them to your phone or your online calendar. We'll also look at the university library services and I'll also show you Nelson, which is the online library. Now, university enrolment can take place via online or on campus. Now, if you are enrolling on campus, the university will email you to request that you book a date and time for you to attend campus in order for you to enrol. This will involve showing your qualification certificates, picking up your student ID and being confirmed onto the course with student finance so as they can then issue you with your student loans. Now, if you are enrolling online, you will be emailed by the admissions team who will request that you email them copies of your qualification certificates. The team will confirm that you've attended your first classes and they will either send your student ID to you in the post or have it ready for you on campus. Now, if you have been unable to complete your occupational therapy or DBS or both before you've started university, then you may only be issued with a temporary student ID pass until those are completely confirmed. But you will, um, you'll find out that once you've been enrolled. Your student finance loans and your NHS bursary, uh, bursaries will only be set up to be paid once you have been certified as enrolled. Now this can take around a week um, or so for both the student finance team uh, system and the NHS bursary systems to be informed that you have enrolled as obviously there can be quite a number of students for the teams to get through. Um, but you can check the status of your loans or your NHS bursary via the student finance website or the NHS bursaries websites. Welcome to the northampton.ac.uk page. Now you may have already seen this if you've been booking your open days etc before you joined the university. Now to once you have your Nile password sent to you from the IT uh, team, you'll, you can get onto Nile through northampton.ac.uk. If you come over onto the right hand side and go onto the burger menu just here, click on there and it will come up with a list here. If you want to click on to Student Hub at the top. Now the login, you'll then log in uh, with the ID that you've been given from the IT team, like I said, and you can sign in. That will be your student ID number and your password. Um, I have logged in already, so I'm going to stay signed in. The first time that you do this, you will um, be asked to create your own password as they will give you a password already and they will ask you to create your own. Now, now that we're in the student hub, this is where you can access pretty much most of what you need to use during your course. So you can access the student email here. So you'll be created, uh, you'll have been created a email address by the university. So using this email address is, it's an Outlook address, uh, so it can be used in your phone, etc. Um, so you would you would set it up as an Outlook um, account. Now, you can also access Nile, which we'll be looking at a little bit later. This is a tab for your timetable. Now, there are two timetables during your course. So you have your generic, general timetable which you can access through this tab 
and you'll also have a module timetable. Now, we will look at your module timetable when we look through Nile, and I'll show you how to get onto that. But your generic general timetable, central timetable as it's called sometimes, um, is accessed through here. So if I show you how to get onto that, and this is also how you can have your university timetable put through to your phone as well. So you'll do that through the Student Hub. So you will click timetables. And just here it says uh, academic timetables. Now, this is my particular year that I am in. I am a January 21 cohort, so this is my year. However, obviously, if you're seeing this in further years, then this may be a different date to yours. So I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to go to the menu on the left and I'm going to click on individual timetables. I'm then going to go to come down the list and go to student calendar view and click on there. I'm then going to enter my student ID, which has already come up for me. So I'm going and then I'm going to click view timetable. going to come down now you see the warning where it says these timetables are subject to change now they can change at any time so it is a good idea to keep an eye on it keep an eye on your announcements which I'll show you later when we look on Nile now here you can see my timetable for my week so today is the 5th of March so if I go into today's lecture that I've had now I had an online lecture and I can see that it, I was it, it was the NPR 1027, Gen 21, and that was the course, the course module that I'm on at the moment. It was held online and I was part of group two. And it says this activity is in the past, that's because it was earlier this morning. Now it's going to tell me when that class is, and it's the 5th of March 2021, and it was held between 10 and 12.30. A description, it's going to tell me which course, which module it is and where about uh, it's online. Now, if that's my online classes, now if I scroll through and I come down to where I'm going to have an on-campus class. So if I click on this one here, which is for the 29th of March, you'll see that the NPR, it's now NPR 1031. And that means it's, it's a different module so it's not going to give me a lot of information in this central timetable it's going to give me enough to so that i know where i am it's going to tell me what the um what the lesson is so it's vital signs um, neuro obs and it's going to tell me that i'm in group six now it's going to tell me when it is and that's the 29th of march 2021 and that it's at one o'clock until 3 30 pm the description is the module which it is so it's guided particip uh, participation in nursing care and the cohort that I am in which is January 2021 and where is LH321 now LH stands for learning hub which is the main big building on the campus um, it's where the library is it's where the canteen is it's the big um, where the big reception area is where you would go for your enrolment etc and you may have been there for your interviews um, but you will get used to seeing these abbreviations now that's for your central timetable so if we come back now to subscribe to have your calendar on your phone where I went in to click on student calendar view, just underneath in the menu on the left hand side, if you cl uh, click subscribe to calendar. You will enter your student ID and click subscribe. Now it will now give you instructions for depending on which calendar phone device you have so for using windows live if you have a windows phone or google android if you have an iphone you'll click subscribe um, but for each one there are different uh, there are different instructions for each type of device so you can go through there it's definitely very helpful for me very handy for me 
but like I say there are two types of timetables you have your central one which is the one I've just shown you which gives you a basic type of information and you have the module timetable which is in Nile which I will show you now going back to the student hub you can also access the online library so if we click to go into the online library this is where you will find an absolute universe of learning um, you will find access to all sorts on here which is definitely good it would be definitely a good tip to uh, definitely spend some time on this site. Now um, you have lots of information on here for studying advice for something. Now you have something on here called Nelson, which is actually where you will search online books. Um, so if we click to go into Nelson and I'll quickly show that I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'll show that. Now, if I want to look up, say, I want to look up for my um, anatomy and physiology um, lesson. So I personally like the Ross and Wilson books. So if I type in Ross and Wilson, anatomy and physiology, it will come up. Now. It's now come up with the most recent book, 2018. It, I can see now if I click onto here, I can see that it is the edition that I'm looking for, which is the 2018 book. If I want to um, view the full text online, I can. If I want to, which means I can then download um, download certain uh, chapters etc so I would then I would click full text available and I can click just next to this next to the picture of the front page of the book I can click read online now I can read this on all sorts of devices now if I actually wanted to uh, come back out of there and go back into the library and wanted to actually find the book in the library and find out where if if it actually is in the library itself that i can go and actually borrow i will click down here on the right hand side physical items so i'm going to click physical items now this is going to tell me here that it's available at waterside which is the campus and it's going to tell me whereabouts in the library that it actually is and it's telling me that it's in 612-WAU and when you visit the library on campus you will see that each tier or each section of the library is numbered and each you will then be able to find so using the numbers that are on each shelf you will be able to then find where this where this book is uh, you can once you have your library login which is the same as your now login uh, but there are there are a few little differences um, but you'll 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 get to know that once you have got your logins you can um, renew the book so you'll have to go into the university to be able to you'll have your you'll have your student ID card which allows you to borrow the book in the first place but you'll then be able to use your online account to renew the book if you like as long as nobody else has actually reserved the book so you can reserve the book or put yourself on on a waiting list so if it wasn't available um, it would be able to tell you when the next one would be available etc now that's the 
library. Going back onto the Student Hub, you also have the IT services. Now, IT services, um, the team are actually amazing. These are the, this is the team that you will contact if you have any issues with, let's say, um, the internet on, on site. Um, they have a, if you have a look at northampton.ac.uk slash help, they have an IT self-service, FAQs, etc. You can go onto there. They also have a telephone number that they'll answer during uh, weekdays, 8.30 to 5.15. Um, you can contact them. They're very helpful. They'll, they'll walk you through anything that you need. Um, you can also download, they will let you, um, you get a free download of Microsoft Office uh, through the University of Northampton and the IT services will help you do that. Um, so, and to do that, you would click on software. Now, some, some students, now the nursing course doesn't have the um, Adobe Creative Cloud, but for some courses, obviously, they would need that. You can, if you scroll down, you can see the Office 365. So the Office 365 subscription license will let you have Office, basically, and it will let you have then Word, PowerPoint, Excel, etc., uh, Publisher to, um, to do your work. So um, that's that means that then you can also you, uh, log into your Office 365 from from any computer. It doesn't have to be on your laptop. So if you're at university or you're on placement, you can log into your Office 365 and all your documents will be on there. Now, it is something you need to download. So uh, you will need to click on the link. Now, if you have any problems with that, the IT team are amazing and they will help you to do that, especially if you have one of the uh, university laptops as well. And that completes the Student Hub for now. So that's just a brief overview of the Student Hub. Uh, you can have a look around, you'll see where the student support is, you'll see where there's events, you can see, you can book non-teaching rooms, um, you can see the student handbooks, etc. Students Union. Um, you can also there's a there's a quick link on the right hand side on this menu to download Microsoft Office as well. Um, you know there's lots to see and do, so it's definitely good to spend some time in your first few weeks, especially, to spend some time looking through the Student Hub and what you can find. It also shows you the apps, which I'll be showing you a little bit later in the video.